Now then my friends, yes, another food vlog for you today and I am in Leeds. Leeds, Leeds. Is it Leeds, Leeds, Leeds? Every time I'm in Leeds, people seem to say it three times and beat the chest like a gorilla. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Anyway, controversial, we'll move on from that one. Uh, we're off to Morrison's. Yes, the supermarket Morrison's. Because they've got a market kitchen or market kitchen? Morrison's market kitchen or something like that anyway basically uh, it's lots of li little different uh, food places a little bit like street food or whatever uh, but little cafes within the supermarket itself I'll read a little bit more about it for you wow a view of the I'm not gonna turn the camera around but a view of Leeds City there uh, with a oh, it's building up Leeds is actually getting to be quite a built-up city I have to say um, so we're off to Kirkstall, to Morrison's, uh, they do pies, they do chickens, they do pizzas and basically it is so cheap, I am told, that it's not even worth cooking yourself. You may as well go to Morrison's, pick this up, it's amazing food and uh, it's cheaper than cooking at home. Uh, the first one I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, pop it in the comments section, actually started down south in a Morrison's down somewhere near London I believe um, so I'm looking forward to this I may go I don't know what to go for I may have to go for the pie you know because um, pizza uh, pizza I'm all right with pizza it's basically posh cheese on toast isn't it and uh, <laughs> controversial controversial um, and then uh, they do the chicken as well they also do uh, a Sunday roast as well so you can go in and get your Sunday dinner there uh, and take it home with you Ellen Road there you go Leeds United fans Ellen Road down that way um, right, so we're, we're heading off to Morrison's. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Also, give it a thumbs up uh, at Ellen, Ellen Road Stadium there. Hmm. I don't see Bielsa though. No, he's gone. Controversial. Uh, we've now got, you've now got um, an American uh, manager, I believe, haven't you? I don't really, I haven't really been following it. Anyway, moving swiftly on, let's get to Morrison's. I'll read you a little bit more about it. Uh, we're going to go and find out. I take a look. We're going to go in covert, take my camera in there, have a little uh, spy and a little look at everything, and we're going to mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. So uh, get ready for that one. We're going to turn off left here. Now, now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Just passing uh, ITV Studios there, ITV Television Centre, for all you uh, Emmerdale fans. I think all the uh, the internal shots are done there. Obviously, the, the rest is filmed out in the uh, the countryside there. Um, but I think the interior shots are actually filmed there. ITV Studios, Yorkshire TV. In fact, where I was and where I grew up in Mansfield, even though we were Nottinghamshire. We used to have uh, Yorkshire TV, and we used to have, uh, what was it, we used to have Yorkshire TV, it was Look North on uh, BBC and then Nationwide, and then we had Yorkshire TV with Richard Whiteley, and uh, I don't know why, because I think we got the, we were on the Emily Moore transmitter, so we actually got all the Yorkshire television, so I grew up watching Yorkshire TV, even though um, I was from Nottinghamshire. It was, Nottingham would get Central TV, and then where we were, it was just on the borderline, so we'd get Yorkshire TV. I'm surprised I didn't grow up with a Yorkshire accent, uh, with watching all the Yorkshire TV. Yorkshire TV, Richard Whiteley, what did they used to call him? Oh, he was great, wasn't he? What was he? I'm not even going to say it, it's controversial. Pop it in the comment section down below. My uh, girlfriend told me that. I never even knew that he was called that. Comments down below what uh, Richard Whiteley's nickname was. What a legend he is. Anyway, come on, let's get to Morrison's. <laughs> Right, here we are. So, let's get down to business. By the way, feeling really smug as I drive 
past the petrol station there. I can't believe how much petrol is now. Blow me neck. If I still had that last car that I had, it used to cost me, I think to fill it up totally, my last, um, S the SUV I had, the, the Meccan or whatever it was, I think it was nearly 90 pounds to fill it up, to go literally about 290 miles. It would cost over, it must be over 150 quid if I had that now. To charge this up to get 220 miles, if I charge this at home at my home charger, I'm going off piece here because we're going to the market kitchen, but um, like car fanatics will, will, will uh, find this interesting. Cost me about to go 220 miles if I charge at home, probably I'd say roughly around about 14, 15 pounds, something like that, to go 220 miles, and more if you fill up. Um, uh, one of the uh, public charges. Anyway, let's get down to business. Morrison's Market Kitchen. Uh, basically, it says here, I'll read you a little bit about it. Taste creators, food makers, now we're cooking. Um, it says your new market kitchen is now open at Morrison's. The selected Morrison's, by the way, you'll have to check in their, uh, on their website. Um, they now serve fresh and tasty food prepared by their in-house chefs in store cooked exactly how you like it, ready to eat now. Uh, we've got you covered for breakfast, lunch and dinner every day of the week. Um, so basically they've got different things in there. They've got char and smoke, uh, which is flame grilled veggies, steak and chicken wraps, ciabattas, salad or rice with three types of slaw. Um, I'll put the link to this in the description down below so I won't read it all. Bird and Baste, which is another one where you can have fancy rotisserie cooked chicken coated uh, with one of their six homemade marinades uh, served with a choice of tasty sides like their corn or lime and chilli. Then you've also got your classic roast dinner. Sit back and enjoy roast chicken beef or stuffed mushroom bursting with flavour and uh, serve all the trimmings for just £7. Uh, that's available on Sundays only, so you can go and have your Sunday roast from Morrison's. I mean, how awesome is that? £7 for a Sunday roast. You've got Pie and Mighty, which is what I'm going to go and try today. Uh, pie and peas, anyone? Our, our flavour-filled pies are made in-house with fresh meat and ingredients. Take your pick of steak, chicken, cheese and onion, or one of our homemade sausage rolls. Ooh, nice. And then you've got fancy a metre of pizza. Uh, choose from a quarter or half a full metre of pizza, margarita, pepperoni, a meat feast, or a chicken sizzler, or a veggie. Uh, you can have fresh pasta, just how you like it. Choice of fresh pasta. You can also have loaded and toasted, which is another one in there. They're like separate li little different places. Um, Mouth-watering grilled cheese sarnies, toasted to perfection. Uh, you've got milkshakes, create your own milkshake. Waffle pops. Oh, it, do you know what? Let's go in, check it out. Mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. Don't forget, we're trying to save money here and uh, find things that are cheap. And I think this is going to be good. My mum's favourite supermarket this was. Come on, onwards. <laughs>
I've actually ordered, I've ordered a pie, I've ordered mash, uh, I've ordered peas, I've ordered gravy, and I've actually ordered a meter of pizza. I, I thought it was one box, but it's actually two. A meter of pizza, I've literally just messaged Sarah and said, uh, don't eat, because I'm bringing back a meter of pizza. This is mad, it's mental. Right, so I've got a metre of pizza and a pie. Oh my word. Right, well, unbelievable in there. I've got to say, <sighs> Morrison's, you really have hit the nail on the head in there. Absolutely superb. I mean, how brilliant is that? And the prices, for instance, this metre of pizza I'm going to take back to Sarah and the kids in a minute. I'm going to taste the piece, obviously, and mark it out of 10. That was £11 for a metre of pizza. That's two boxes. I actually thought there was one box there. And then the chicken uh, pie and mash was £5.50. You can have milkshakes in there. You can have literally anything you want. They've even got vegan counters in there as well. The pie, well, before we start, I did a few shots, a bit of B-roll inside there. Take a closer look, my friends. Right, so we're going to go in for the uh, the pie and mash first. We've got the peas and we've got some got some mint sauce on there as well. Wow, that's really really good. Got the gravy on there. Let's go in though into the pie. Nice crusty outer there. Let's go onto the inside and see how much meat we've actually. Oh my word! Look at the chicken in that. Unbelievable. Let me just get my camera here and just show you inside here. Just look at the meat in that there. Just look at that. Unbelievable, that pie is phenomenal. Wow, let's just taste it though. Let's, it's all about the taste. Right, here we go. Oh wow, that chicken, really tender. The pie crust itself is, oh. Oh my words, that's heaven. That is absolute heaven. Wow, that is pie heaven. Mmm. The chicken's tender. The pastry itself, even though I've put gravy on it, still nice and got a good crust on it. Um, the mash itself, no lumps in the mash. Very nice, beautiful, right. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have some more. Mmm, <laughs> beautiful, right. Let's get down to the pizza. A metre of pizza. Mmm. Pizza in the footwell of your car, that's what you want. A meter in there, there we go, look at that. This car, 
whoever gets this car next is going to go, whoa, fish and chips? Is that what I smell? Pizza? Pie? What's going on in here? <laughs> I'll tell you what, vegans, don't buy this car after. Right, let's go in for this. Right, just look at that, my friends. Nice crust on that. In fact, let me get my other camera here. Let's close in on this, give you a closer look on this. Here we go. Just look at that. Look at that. Look at that crust on there. Nice bit of tomato sauce on there. The cheese. Look at that. Nice, nice cooked base on there as well. Right, here we go. Oh. Oh, man. That is absolutely gorgeous pizza. Mm. Oh. That's wrong. The cheese got a nice tang to it the tomatoes coming through nice the crust and the dough mm. I'll tell you what Dave Portnoy I reckon he'd mark that quite highly mmm one bite right I'm gonna take this Back to Sarah and the kids. Um, I'm going to mark this out of 10. I'm going to say Morrison's. Morrison's. You really have hit this out of the ballpark. I mean, this is great. It's not worth cooking for the price. I mean, literally all that, two pizzas, that's going <laughs> to, that's absolute madness. Sarah's going to kill me. Um, the amount of pizza there that you get for what was it 12 12 pounds unbelievable and that pie why would you cook yourself there's no point you might as well go in there get it from there it's probably cheaper than using the gas and everything nowadays morrison's my hat goes off to you unbelievable and mum my mum mum you'd love this she'd absolutely adore it she wouldn't like the pizza however because she, she used to say that's wet dough um but uh I like it. I think the pizza, I'm going to give a solid. I'm going to give the pizza a solid nine. I'd say a nine out of ten there. Maybe a little, maybe it could have been done a little bit more, uh, but a nine out of ten. The pie, mmm, that pie's on another level. And for six pounds, I'm going to give that a, I'm going to give that a, a nine as well. Um, excuse me. Overall, though, for the whole thing itself and the whole idea, I've got to give it a 10. It's brilliant, absolutely spot on. It is in selected Morrisons at the moment, but Morrisons, listen, put it in every one of your stores because that is a winner. That is a winner. That is a dinner winner, that is. Right, that's all from me today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up and uh, Hit, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and watch me get bigger by the day. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> mm. Mm.